Hi guys, this is Megha Verma. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's tutorial, we will learn how to design this wedding invitation card in Corel Draw. So without any delay, let's get started. So this is the size of our wedding invitation card. Now first we will select the rectangle tool from the toolbar and we will draw a rectangle. Now we will set the size of the rectangle 210 by 297 mm. Now we will set the align of the rectangle. First we will click on specified point then align center horizontally and align center vertically. Now we will select this rectangle and we will fill color. Now we will select the contour tool from the toolbar and we will apply on this rectangle. First we will zoom and then we will apply like this. Now we will right click and we will select break contour apart. Now we will select this black rectangle and again we will select the contour tool and we will apply Now again we will right click and we will select break contour apart. Now we will select the inner rectangle and we will fill white color. Now we will select black and white rectangles and we will select back minus front. Now we will select this border and we will fill white color. Now we have all these details and images. Now first we will select this mandala art image. Now we will select trace bitmap option. Now we will select outline trace then logo. Now it will take some time. Now we will click on ok. Now we will drag this traced image. Now we will change the color. Now we will go to the bitmap option. Now we will select convert to bitmap. Now we will click on ok. Now we will delete this image. Now we will select this. Now we will select transparency tool from the toolbar. And we will increase the transparency. Now we will place this image like this. Now we will drag and right click to make a copy. Now we will decrease the size. And we will place like this. Now we will right click on this image. And we will select power clip inside. Now we will select this blue rectangle. Now similarly we will power clip inside and we will select blue rectangle now we will select this corner image now we will trace this design similarly we will select trace bitmap then outline trace then logo now we will click on specify now we will select this dropper and we will select the white area with the shift key we will click on all the white space now we will drag now we will change the color now we will delete this image now we will adjust the size and we will place on the corner Now we will select this and we will drag and right click to make a copy. Now we will click on mirror horizontally and mirror vertically. 
now we'll adjust now similarly we will trace this image now we'll click on ok now we'll drag and we will place now we'll change the color now we'll delete this image now we'll select with the rectangle and we will press it to align center now we have all these details now we can see the font style of all the text now we'll select all and we will place on the card now we'll give a white color now we'll select all these details and this rectangle and we will press the to align center Now we'll select the rectangle tool from the toolbar and we will draw a small rectangle. Now we'll select the interactive fill tool from the toolbar. Now we'll select fountain fill. Now we will adjust. Now we will set the color. We will create the silver gradient. delete the outline now we'll select white border and all the text and corners and ganesh ji now we'll go to the edit menu and we will select copy properties from now we'll tick on fill then okay now we'll click on this silver gradient now we'll delete this rectangle Now we'll select this blue rectangle. Now we'll select interactive fill tool and we will select fountain fill. Now we'll click on elliptical fountain fill. Now we will set the color. Now we'll adjust the fountain fill. I will remove the outline of the blue rectangle. So guys, our wedding invitation card is ready. I hope you like the design. If you have any question regarding this tutorial, you can ask me on the comment box. Please like, share and comment. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get updates of my videos. Thanks for watching.